you got your boxing, you got all this, but if you don't get your mental health in control in a manageable state, then you won't have that boxing. So, you know, take the time to focus on it now, because if you decide to ignore it, then it could spiral to something worse and it could be too late to get the help. So that was kind of what made that final decision. I think that's amazing. Like what were some of the treatments that you got and then what are some of the tools that you were able to bring back so that when you did go back to training, you felt um, more in control and more um, supported? So an inpatient, most of the time is you do exposure therapy, which is meant to spike your anxiety as high as it can go and then hold that anxiety and deal with it and feel it, not try to like go to your ritual to make that anxiety go down or do anything to make that anxiety go away. It's, and it's the purpose is to intensify and keep it high and high. And so you can deal with it. And I'll kind of um, compare it to like boxing. When you train the first camp, those, those uh, workouts are hard and you're dead. But then by the end of the camp, that workout was easy because you're immune to it. So same kind of concept. You build this immunity to your anxiety so that... Almost like endurance. Yeah. I got to fight my way back to life.